Hi guys, it's Asba. Welcome back to Asba's World of Creativity. Today, I'll be teaching you basic calligraphy strokes. Basic strokes are kind of foundation in your entire calligraphy alphabet. So you learn each of these strokes and when you put them together, they turn into letters. We are gonna go through each basic stroke, so stay tuned to the end of the video. For this demonstration, I'm gonna use plain white sheet and Tombow dual tip brush pens. This pen has two tips. One tip of this pen is quite flexible and the other one is fine tip, just like your sketch pens. And guys, I have already drawn guidelines with pencil on this white sheet. So first strokes that I'm gonna talk to you about are upstrokes and downstrokes. On upstrokes, we use the lightest pressure and the heaviest pressure on the downstrokes. All you're gonna do is start at the bottom and you're gonna have a light line gently going towards the top. So the key with this one is to just go nice and slow, keep a consistent speed the whole way. Again, I'm telling you, go slow to avoid getting shaky. You wanna find a nice balance between being too light or being too hard on the page. Your line should be nice and thin, but also consistent and not shaky. So that's your upstroke. The next one is your downstroke. So now, rather than pressing light on the page, you're gonna press hard. So just start with pressing hard and having a straight line. Same thing with these ones. You wanna be consistent. You're not flicking. It's one consistent motion. And when you get the hang of both the strokes, I want you to try a tougher one. Now let's do combination of both so you'd go light up and hard down so just go ahead and fill up 2-3 pages. And then we are gonna move on to the next one. The next one is called the overturn stroke. Your overturn stroke is done by starting at the bottom, making light up stroke that you learned in the past one, but now you're curving it over into a thick down stroke. And keep these lines parallel to each other. So as opposed to going light up and then hard down and see how now these lines are on different planes. So you wanna start light up and around 12 o'clock you start adding pressure into your downstroke and make sure that these two lines stay parallel to each other. One more time light up and hard down. So now moving on to the opposite of your overturn stroke, we are now looking at the underturn stroke. So instead of starting at the bottom and moving up, you'll be starting at the top and moving down. It's the same thing, heavy pressure letting off and coming back into your light up stroke. So same rules apply where these lines should be parallel to each other. And I don't wanna see you doing this kind of shape. Then 
The other thing to keep in mind with this stroke in particular is letting off the pressure nice and early. The next one is called a compound curve and this can be a little bit tricky. So now you are combining kind of both of the underturn and overturn stroke into all in one. So what you are doing is you are starting at the bottom and you are light up stroke and then you are transitioning back down and then you are transitioning back up. So now all three of these lines should be parallel to one another. And you don't want to be going up and then out and then up and having these all on different angles. You want to actually kind of turn back towards that same angle and force yourself to stay all one on one consistent angle. Next up is the oval and the oval can be really tough. One mistake is very common which is done by most of the student is they start at the top and you're heavy downstroke and then as you come back up there is a problem. So see what happens here now. If you started at the top those two lines don't meet up nicely. So what you actually need to do with the ovals is start off to the side a little bit. So you're gonna start an actually upstroke and then as you come back down and they meet up. They're both nice and light here so this one takes a little bit of practice. I often see students having trouble with that connection there or they'll be concentrating so hard on the pressure that as they come back up they actually sort of miss the mark here. So take a couple of minutes and practice the ovals. Now I'm going to teach you ascending loop. So you're going to start this one in the middle with the loop on the top and then as you come back down you're going to add the pressure. So what I see happen a lot with this one is people think they should start at the bottom. But if you start at the bottom you'd be pressing hard and going up which is totally wrong right? So you actually need to start in the middle and then downstroke. So guys keep trying and keep them all going on the same angle as you work on them. And consistency is the key with calligraphy. And the last stroke I want to teach you is descending loop. So, the descending loop is obviously the opposite of the ascending loop. And now you are actually starting with the down stroke and as you come back up with your light stroke. So you really need nice steady speed. So guys. Keep practicing, once you get perfect in making these strokes, you can start building your alphabet. And I hope this video made sense for you and I really hope you are gonna take advantage of it. And I'll see you next time and thanks for watching. Till then take care, bye.